Okay, so after creating a group that you would like to share, in this case, classes, I shared or I created a group for all of my earth science classes. So let's say I would now want to share that document with them. You just go to any old document that you want to share. We'll go to my earth science folder here and click on this review I might want to share with my students. Okay, at the very top, you'll see a new a share button, so you'll click on it. Okay, and then just type in that group name that you did. I believe it, I called it Earth Science Class. Okay, there's that one. And there's all the names that I did fake from my last video. You can follow the link if you want to figure out how to create groups. Um, important note, what you really want to do is you want to... A lot of times you don't want them to edit your document. You just want them to view it or maybe even comment on it. Obviously, you're in public education, so commenting can be bad. Um, I usually do can comment for my students because if they do put something naughty on there, I can easily just um, delete theirs, but it also tells me who put it on there, so it's a little bit hard to hide because um, I don't allow anonymous posts. But um, if you don't want comments at all, then you just sit, click this can view button. And so now when you come down here and hit send, you've got a notify. Um, yes, I'm sharing it with other people outside of my domain is what this thing is saying. Um, instead of snowflake.k12.az, which is our domain, I have somebody in there, we're about 11 at gmail.com. So I click yes, it has to send it out there. Okay, so that's really how easy it is to share a document. But what's even cooler is I actually set up a shared folder in my Google Drive. The advantage of the shared folder is anything I want my class to have access to, they can go in there and I share and let them view anything inside these specific folders. And you can actually see this little icon that the person tells me that it is shared. So... To do that, you just click on the folder itself. You go up to this little button that says Share Science. I click on it. And the same thing comes up and I say Earth Science Class. And I click Can View. You can add notes to them if they have access to email, letting them know what this is. You can notify the people. You click Send. And now you can easily see who is in there by clicking this at any time and down here all their names are at you can actually double click it and open it up while we're in here a couple other things that you may want to see when you're in your shared section in a shared folder you can also decide who can actually find it and view it. In this case, the only people are people with the link or people I share it with at snowflake.k12.az.us. But you can actually share it with the world as a web page or you can create a link that the only person that can get on there is somebody with the link. Um, or you can actually share it with just specific people and that's the only other person that can view it. But for this purpose of this tutorial, we want everybody in our class to be able to see these documents.